could have had him any day They only let him slip away Out of kindness, I suppose Hey, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Poncho and Lefty. Now, this is going to be a lesson for the Willie Nelson and Merle Haggard version of this song, okay? I have to note, this song is written by Towns Van Zant. Awesome, awesome musician. Uh, he plays this song a little bit differently, different key. He has a really cool finger picking style. I'm not gonna cover that in this lesson. Okay, I'll save that for a separate time. This is gonna be a strum along version, but I am gonna show you this intro. Because it's such a cool intro, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna do the solo though. Solo, I'm gonna save. So strumming pattern, yes. Easy strumming chords, yes. Intro, yes. Solo, no. Finger picking, no. But with that, let's get to this lesson. Now, uh, reminder, as always, notes for this lesson. You can find it on my website, playsongnotes.com. A link in the description if you need it, but if you need to access any of the tabs or the lyrics after the fact, check that out, and be sure to subscribe too to this channel if you like what you see, okay? So let's dive right in. Now, chords you'll need. Four chords, here they are, okay? You have a D chord. You'll have a G chord. You'll have an A chord and you'll have a B minor chord. All right, now, great. Now, to cover the verse and the chorus of this song, um, I'm gonna start with the strumming pattern. Strumming pattern is gonna be uh, four counts per measure, okay? Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You're gonna accent the two and the four of each beat, and it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Okay, if we were to play a D chord, and we were to do that strumming pattern, you don't need to hammer it away. You can kind of be light and feathery on the strings there. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Cool? All right, now let's move on to the verse and the chorus uh, chord progressions. Now, the verse, nice and easy. There's four verses in this song, okay, and they all have this progression. It's two measures of D, two measures of A, two measures of G, one measure of D, and then one measure of A, okay? So that's the verse. It would sound like this. Living on the road, my friend, was gonna keep you free and clean. Now you're scared, your skin like iron, and your breath's as hard as kerosene. Okay? Simple enough, right? That's that verse. And the chorus. Of course, it's a little bit trickier. Number one, you have a B minor. And number two, the chords are a bit more difficult to memorize. If you look at the chord progressions here, you'll notice that they're kind of not really symmetrical. You'll notice that there's a, that middle line that has a measure of six counts. Um, I'm gonna recommend that you approach that by playing those same chords over top of the lyrics, okay? Learn the song, listen to the song, memorize it, get it in your head, and then just look at the chords over the lyrics and play it like this. You want your mama's only child, the favorite one at sea. Okay, B minor. You want to cry when you say goodbye. Stay on A, and then to G. Da 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 da. B minor for two measures. Okay. Now the tricky part there is that G D A. Okay. The G and the D, you want to deviate from the strumming pattern and let's do down, down on those two chords. So looking at that uh, section there, let's do the strumming pattern out loud. So B minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And sink into the G. And then on this final B minor, if you want, you can sneak in an A on the very last count before you go back to the next verse, okay? Totally optional. I do that by barring the A with a single finger, so. Okay, um, so that's an optional thing you can do too. And uh, I'll play that final, final, uh, most distinctive chorus one more time. All the feather I say They could have had him in a day they only let them slip away At a time this I suppose Okay, for this intro, um, 
Here's what the tab looks like, okay? Now at the outset, let's say there are two halves of this intro. Okay, the first half is up here. That's the first half. It takes place between the fifth fret and the 11th fret. The second half begins where the first half left off. But it, it basically goes down to the open position, okay? So I kind of think of it as two halves. Again, first half up high, second half down low. That just helped me remember like spatially what's going on. And it also, as I practice it, I can, you know, work on the first half for a little bit and go down to the second half, okay? But um, let's go through the chords you'll need. Now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six different um, actual chords you'll play. But the thing is, there's only three different shapes. And that's really important to remember because uh, it sort of frees your mind up to, you know, make this seem a little bit simpler. Now, you can use a pick to play these if you want, or you can just pluck them. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm probably gonna use no pick when I'm teaching um, just because it's easier to accent individual strings as I'm explaining what to play. But basically, let's start with these chord shapes, okay? So the first shape, it's going to be 11, 10, 10. Um, you're also gonna use that on 4, 3, 3 in the second half, okay? But this shape is defined by, you're gonna be barring with your index finger on the thinnest two or three strings, and you're gonna put your middle finger down um, one fret higher, okay, on the G string. So, 11, 10, 10. If you want, on this chord, you can play open D, 11, 10, 10. This is basically a D chord, just higher up on the neck, okay? Um, second chord, 9, 10, 9. 9, 10, 9. You can either bar the ninth fret, if you bar it, 9, 9, 9, and then add your middle finger on the 10th fret. Or you can just play it like a regular, like you're playing a D chord, okay? Okay, third chord is same shape, just down two frets, 7, 8, 7. That's played like a D chord, or you can bar it. Okay? I like to bar it, I bar them all. And then down to uh, seven, seven, five. Okay, this is a D chord as well. You can play it like that if you want to. Now, those four chords is uh, in order. Great thing to practice there. Play them however you like, they're gonna sound good, right? But basically, that's the first half. Um, the one thing I'll say about this last chord, though, it sounds like that pinky is raised initially. Seven, five, five, two, seven, seven, five. In context. Okay, pretty sure that's what uh, Merle Haggard's doing on the live video I found, and you can hear it if you listen to the album. So that's the first half. I'm going to get to timing next, but let me just finish with the actual chord shapes. Second half starts where that one left off, seven, seven, five, and then you're going to go to four, three, three, and then a regular D chord. You can either bar it like I am doing here or play individual strings. I recommend barring it though, because you're gonna be switching from Muscle memory, this is, uh, muscle strength, I, I mean. This is a great thing to practice, okay? And then you're gonna end with a regular D. That's a D sus2 to a regular D, okay? So in full. Okay, so those are the chords you'll need in that order. Again, you're on the highest, the thinnest three, th strings only, okay? Now timing wise, what's interesting about this is if you look at these same tabs with the counting at the bottom, so to play that in time, it would sound like this. And by time, I mean one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One. 
down, up. time down up 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 down down up 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 down okay so i'm going up you're going up for most of the chords um, that are played in each half there so really the first strum and the last strum of each half are really where you're on a down everything else you're on the up strum okay but otherwise, that's it for this lesson. Uh, again, this is David Potts with Song Notes. Definitely check out my website where I have the notes for this lesson and all my other lessons as well are there. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you liked, what you still have questions about, and any requests you have, surely let me know because I want to do songs that you are uh, interested in hearing, whether they are other songs by Willie Nelson or Towns Van Zandt or uh, anything else, anything, any other genre, uh, as long as it's on guitar, or maybe ukulele, then uh, I can get down with it. But um, uh, that's it for today. Have a good night. I hope this song does you well. And uh, as always, keep on rocking. Oh, that was a good throw. <laughs> uh, what am I playing here?